the mother Borg is not feeding her babies. She's laying on a third egg and pushed the babies aside. I believe one has passed away and I took the next one, but I don't know if there's hope for it, but I made some formula and I'm going to try to feed it. All right, so I have this baby Borg here. He's basically one day old and uh, my Borg had well, babies, two of them hatched. She wouldn't sit on them. They were cold. She wouldn't feed them. And I knew something was up. And I should have taken them away this morning because unfortunately the other one passed away. And I feel really horrible about that. I could have taken it out when I got this little baby. It was so cold. She was so interested like in, in sitting on the, the other egg that's there. There's a third egg. Not sure if it'll hatch. There was a fourth egg, but that's not fertile at all. So unfortunately the other baby passed away. So what I've done is my turquoiseine was on eggs that are not fertile. And then she's been laying and laying and laying. And she wants them to hatch so bad. So what I did is I put the, the egg that seems fertile that might hatch tomorrow. I put that one in my turquoiseine's nest. And she laid on it because maybe she will feed the baby if it hatches. And if she does feed it. And if this one survives, I'm going to put this one in her nest too. Maybe she can feed them because otherwise I'm going to have to do that. And it's only two days old and it's a lot of work. I'm using a little pipette, just putting like a tiny drop at the side of the beak. Being very careful. This baby was so cold and didn't look very well. So I put it on my hands and warming it up and I have a, a container with a heating pad on the bottom and another container and a thermometer inside I'll show you later and trying to keep the baby warm. So I'm hoping this is going to work. I got some food in the baby. I hope it's going to survive because I just feel really horrible about it if it does die. But um, yeah, there's some food there in the crop. A little bit there was nothing in there when I took it out of the nest box nothing at all the other one that passed away had no food in there at all and that one was born like two days ago so for two days it didn't have any food I know when they're first born they're eating off their egg yolk sac but um, my every time I looked in the nest she wasn't laying on them at all and they were cold so what I did is I put in an unfertile egg in the Bork's um, nest because she still wants to lay on them but it's not going to hatch but I'll just let her lay on them anyways I don't know why she's a first time mommy and like she's laid eggs before they just never hatched and some of them were fertile in the past and they never they never hatched out because I believe she just didn't keep them like warm and this time she did and so they hatched and then and then she doesn't feed them it happens that's why I don't like you know actually breeding birds. I'm not a breeder breeder. She just started laying eggs so um, on the bottom of the cage and I thought the bork, borks are very rare in my area and hard to find and they're kind of my favorite species so I thought hey if they hatch I wouldn't mind a couple other ones. So I basically just breed for myself and then if I need to find a home for any it's, it's very um, I can find a home for them pretty easily but I make sure they go to a proper home. There, so it's getting some in. I don't want to drown that little thing. Come here, I don't want to call you a little thing. Oh, you're so cute. And see how they're white? They're born with a lot of fuzz on them. All right, I'm going to keep them warm now and feed them some more. Good news, the baby survived the night. And I woke up a few times and I fed the baby. And it went poopies so that's a good sign as well and now it's time for a feeding and let's see what it looks like hello little baby oh you're dripping and you're so lively today oh look at this oh that's much better than when I first took it out of the nest okay don't be walking away now just trying to get the food in the in the pipette oh so cute and at one time it, it preferred to lay on its belly to eat so I'll just let it do what it does because I'm sure the mother, I know baby budgies and other birds, they feed them when they're on the back. So I'll just, maybe I'll just turn it on the back, it'll be easier. So small. So two days old, baby 
Bork, Burke. They're called Burks, but I call them Borks. So, Burke, Bork. Hello. You know what? Well, earlier I did open its mouth. Oh, there it goes. Oh, can you see the, the beak opening there? Taking in some fluid. Now, for the first two days, the formula has to be very thin, very watery. And this is the second day. Oops. Oh, boy. It's hard to um, hold them still. Come here. I know. Wow. Look at you go. Oh, so there's hope for this little one. No, oh. <laughs> see on the back. Maybe I'll just leave it this way. Just gotta turn it. Okay. And I like to feed it from the other side. Oh boy, it's wiggling everywhere. So as you can see, it's a lot more active. So I'm gonna have to hold it still. Come here. Wait. Maybe just some take out that food. Okay. Here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> How does the mother feed you? You don't hold still. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, the mother probably just grabs you and feeds you, right? So two days old, so this baby probably didn't get the their crop milk from the mother. So sometimes that like stunts the baby or you know, the baby might not make it. But I did I have raised one and two day old babies before and you know they made it and they were fine there we go so i'm hoping to put this baby oh, look at that. okay okay you're all over the place this baby in with my turquoise in so she can feed the baby because the other one the baby bork did hatch under my turquoise in so there's the baby bork that hatched this morning that my turquoise parakeet is going to raise, hopefully. Oh, it's so cute. I seen her like preening it and putting it under her so she's actually laying on it. So that's a good thing. And the next step would be to make sure that she's going to feed it. Oh, it's a lively little one. Aww. Hopefully my turquoise parakeet can... Wow. Can raise these babies because it's really hard to do and you know I won't be able to go anywhere or leave the babies you know very long alone they have to be fed when they're this small every two to three hours for about I'd say a week and then you can stretch the hours I like to feed them whenever the crop is empty or check on them every two or three hours anyways and just uh, Top up their food because if you watch the parent birds when they feed the babies they are constantly feeding them like they, they always just feed them a little bit at a time anyways so hopefully this baby's gonna be okay and make it and hopefully he can go get taken care of by my turquoise in so she can raise these babies as her own this is day three and the baby is still well alive and he's eating there he is are you ready to eat? Yep, look at him go. He's very lively compared to the first day that I took him from the nest. Uh -oh. Okay, Malibu's flying around. Hope he doesn't come over here. He might be curious. Okay, Malibu, please. <laughs> you can't see Malibu, but he's right behind me. Okay, here, his wings just flapped everything away. Okay, so I'm gonna put him on his back. We usually like to eat like that. Malibu, you probably wanna feed the little baby, huh? No, Malibu. Malibu, go away. There goes Malibu. Yeah, I should've put him away first. All right. Okay, yeah, that's not a good idea. All right, okay, let's try this again. There we go. There we go. Well, stay still, buddy. Well, he's getting some in there. He's 
use a Kleenex. Always wipe it off because when it dries, it's like cement. There, look at the food. Come here. <laughs> See the food in the crop? It doesn't take long to feed the little ones. They fill up really fast. <laughs> okay, not a good idea to feed baby birds with other birds flying around. Malibu was watching from my shoulder, if you could see, it's funny. Hi Malibu, what's that, baby? <laughs> yeah, that's probably about it. It's pretty much full. See that? Malibu, what do you think of the baby bird? Hmm? Yeah, it's tiny, newborn. Three days old. Yes? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Okay, see ya.